wasn't a band kid. Oh my God, that's so pretty. I'm just here. How did you clip through the wall, sir? I don't think this is working. She was not cooking. That's pretty. I'm not singing that. We haven't done any fighting. This is foreshadowing if I've ever seen it. Pretty. and gamers we are playing punishing gray raven on the pc client once again i still have access to it by the time this video goes up access is done i'm hoping by the time this video goes up we'll have an actual release date for the pc client like officially because this is not official right now this is the pc ascension test gameplay we're getting but also they moved the battle pass like up here, which I think I didn't notice that when I did the update video because it was the update day. And so a lot of stuff hadn't been released yet. But if we go to research and development here, Selena's new coding has been released as well as this banner for Chrome and Kamui. But I, I have a Kamui that I grabbed and I really like Chrome. So I'm going to pick Chrome because I'm biased. Do we want to pull? Mm. I want to pull for Selena, but we have not tried her out yet because when I did the update video, all of these things for Selena had not dropped yet. So obviously by the time this video goes up, there still might actually be time to do some of these events, but some of them are done by now. So that's just a, a little thing. So what I want to do that has dropped today, I want to do a company, a company, a song. We can do song of flower. I don't know why I can't say this word because I used to be able to say this word. Memory Rescue we did. So I think we can actually just do the trial for Selena. We'll start with that. And if we have any time left over, I'll just go back to the Fantasia event that I really enjoy. Ooh, wait, the backdrop change. Cause I don't know if I want to pull for Selena cause we can't just get her fragments and shards for free. So I'm like, mm, what do I want to do here? Cause I believe it's in the shop, right? Maybe not this shop. It's not in the, the main shop. It's in the Fantasia shop, M Memento Hall, if you will in the special thing, but it is quite pricey to get her. So there's a lot of gameplay that's going to have to go into that. Anyways, we have the trial for Selena. So we get to see how she works. Character challenge stage, character tutorial stage, and then we have a company and then the whole thing. Okay, let's figure out the tutorial first. I think usually I read through these. I don't think I am. <laughs> I don't think I am just because half the time when I use this, this uh, screen, for this, these type of videos, it covers up like half the text. So I'm just not gonna do it. Oh, she starts by playing her little, is it a flute? Is it a flute or a clarinet or is it an oboe? I wasn't a band kid, I was an orchestra kid, my bad. All right, so there's our three ping. Ooh, I love the purple. It matches really well with the blue. Another three ping. Oh, I'm not doing it right. So I need to do a three ping in the move. What's with the movement? Why is that necessary? Move? Oh my God, that's so pretty, her blue three ping. Oh my god, stop. Her yellow three ping looks like Sailor Moon. Oh my god, I love her. And then we move. Okay, solid. Nice. Oh my god, wait, her instrument turns into a sword? That is so cool. So her signature move will grant five shooting stars. Oh. Shooting star plus moving the joystick will cast Meteor Staccato. The signature move will leave behind a phantom upon finish, healing nearby units over time. An attacker who's also a healer. Y'all know I'm I'm here for it. So then we hit this. Oh, we need to move. Why? What's the movement? That's weird. So that's the end right there. Oh my God, she's so cool. Okay, I have to do it again because I, I messed up. So we're gonna hit it and then we're gonna move. I'm just gonna hit my W key while also hitting the button. It kind of suffices. That is so cool. No, that's really cool. I really like that. Where's the interaction point? Oh, it's over here. Finally, I can move properly in this game. PC client is better for that reason. I can move properly. She's really fun. She's also very soft-spoken, but it's like young Selena, so that makes sense. Okay, please let me exit. Now we have the character switch and we have a Kamui. What do you know? Boosted Kamui. I'm not gonna read it again because I'm, I'm lazy. I still, <laughs> this little like the spike in his hair. To boost Selena's damage output up to the maximum, you can use her with Tenab ten 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 Tenabrion. I don't know how to read that, but that's probably why he's getting a rerun. Use the tank's frames attacks to reduce the target's extra damage reduction. I don't know, man. I'm just here. I'm just gonna hit these little three pings. And then we're going to switch on to Selena. We're going to dark form on Kamui. Actually, he's pretty cool. Do I want this Kamui? No. Change to Selena and enter the battlefield. And three pings. Kamui's back. He 
just spins. Accumulate signature energy with three pinks cast signature move. So I guess we just have to... There we go. There's the signature move. And if you hit the W while doing the pings there, you get some pretty cool... She moves... Okay, she's fun. Selena's fun to the point where I actually want to pull for her. And there's the healing unit. I like... That's actually really helpful because you can switch off. Oh, wait. I switched off to Kamui to see if that would work. But I think... I think he's still healing. I think you can still heal. Because I'm like, if you switch off to another character, they can heal off that, like, phantom unit. Kamui is so fun. This is about Selena, not Kamui. Let me exit, please. Okay, so that was character switch. Now we have combat practice. Back in we go. I don't think we can do the tr trials just because my characters are not leveled enough because I'm only at like level 60 something. Uh, all right. Washu's back, but looks so much better with the better graphics. I'm telling y'all. Wah, wah, get back here. I'm just going to hit these three pings. Why not? Okay, give me a signature move. This is fine. I'm doing great, actually. Selena's like insane. S, S, S plus Selena to defeat Washu. <laughs> you kind of have to always be moving with Selena which could be a little bit difficult, especially like if the controls aren't as intuitive as they, as they need to be. But with the PC client, she was a very good character to have released at the same time this PC Ascension test was going on because having the better movement with PC controls is very nice. So that was all the tutorial, very easy. She's a very easy unit to use, very beginner friendly, I feel like, which is nice because I've talked about how PGR has so many mechanics with combat that can be a little bit like there's a learning curve for sure and she seems like a very beginner friendly character which is nice so we have our challenge mode i almost want to try it recommended bp so we have a trial selena that does fall into that recommended bp i'm gonna throw in i think two of the healers i have built Liv. Even though she can kind of heal herself, I want to throw in Liv. I have been building my Ayla off green as well. And then Vera, my other healer. I think she's built. I, I literally dismissed her instead of looking at what I needed to. Okay, fine. Also, the reason I forgot the reason why I put Vera on the team. It's because um, she uses the same VA as Alicia from Honkai Impact. And I'm so, so predictable. Okay, yeah, she has a set on her. Yeah, that's a set. That's fine. I'm just like, I hope, does she have stuff? Okay. Okay, yeah, you have the, the four star blade. Okay, this is fine. We can do this. So I just want to have two extra healers in the field. Vera is not that much of a healer, but she's, I think, technically a healer. Maybe not with this frame. Maybe I messed up. I think it's an oboe. Is she using an oboe? I think it's an oboe. Okay, well, I got something going on here. Just always be moving. Always be moving with uh, the Selena. Oh God, oh God, oh God. Always, I was not moving. Always be moving. Also, she's red, so I need to focus on if I have a little time fracture there um, to get... I just want to three ping this. Vera's on. And then we have our ultimate. She could main DPS this, but I think she might work better as a, a burst support in a way. Give me a three ping. Vera's up. She actually works really well. Okay, got that. Got this. Lives up. Get this. And we have our pings here. She's done. I actually really like her. Again, very beginner friendly, which is nice. Get that up, lives up, get a heal. Three ping on her, get that. Okay, all right, what are we, what are we locking on? Okay, oh, this is fine. Three ping, Vera's up. I need to consolidate pings. Okay, give me the ult. I actually need that ult right now. <laughs> I'm gonna get hit. She's insane. I really like this unit, like a lot. She does get hit quite a bit, but she's she's really good. This acid ant is gonna give me a run for my money. Where did it go? How did you clip through the wall, sir? Okay, all right. You are really do have some acid powers there, huh? Okay, give me that. Give me that three ping. You really just need to be moving with her constantly. She also, sometimes she just starts playing her little instrument and it's like, what are you doing? Yeah, the trick for the ult is to just always have your finger on the W key or like up trigger. Dang. Okay, she's crazy. She's really good. Because I remember I tried those trial stages, same sort of thing where I just threw in two random characters and I tried to do those trial, not trial, but the challenge stages with Roland as well as Impura Live and I did not finish one at all. So, uh... Already, Selena's so much more cracked. Well, there are clear within 180 seconds. I even did that. Dang. Okay, so dark resistance. Yeah, I'm not reading these. I'm not reading these. Battle prep. It wants 6,000, which is now where it gets a little bit ah because I don't have 
that. So, back in. Let's see if we can just- I just want to clear them. I don't really care about getting all the stage clear rewards. I just want to clear it. I will say her dodge isn't the greatest. Like, it could be better. Get that up. She is taking more damage this time, which scares me just a little bit. It might have been smarter to bring in, like, anyone else. Like, someone who can do better ranged damage, but I did not. Well, this is going to heal her up a little bit, actually. So this actually could be really helpful. Let's get some consolidation on the pings. Yeah, no, she's healed now. That's fine. She's taking damage again, but it should be fine. Get live up, get a heal there. Get my ult, thank you! Not as fast as before, but she's still do she's still hitting numbers. And that little AoE you get at the end is pretty good. Okay, give me live up to heal. Got that, three ping on that. All right, all right! This should be okay. Okay, let me do that, do that, do that. I definitely need that health. Oh my god, okay, you guys are getting like crazy now. Give me the ult. Why is one of them floating? Also, am I not hitting either of them? No, I, they're just like weirdly in the air. I am consolidating pings a little bit too quickly. Okay, let's hit that. Vera's up. This is fine. I think it's just, I need to get good. Get good. Need to get good. And Vera's up. Got an ult. Okay, all right. That times 25 is gonna give me a run for my money. I don't think I'm doing this in 180, by the way. <laughs> I don't think this is working. Okay, lives up, which is pretty good because I can get a heal of some sort. Okay, I think I got this now. I think I got it. I think I know what I'm doing. Maybe not. Maybe not. Okay, thank you for that. Fear is up. All right. Okay, do that, do that, and that. All right, now we're talking. Now we're talking. My FPS is having a minute. It is having a minute with Selena on screen. Can we not, guys? Thank you. Lives up. All right, let's hit that and that. Okay. You know, my FPS is going through it. It's like still way above 60, which is insane. But still. Hit that, get live up, give me a three ping. I was doing really good for a hot minute and now I'm like struggling again. Okay, let's get live up, I think. I have a three ping there. We'll get Vera up and then I can ult. These rotations are actually really fun. I'm hitting the wrong thing. I'm hitting the wrong thing. I don't even know what she's hitting. You you go, sweetie. She was not cooking. Okay, all right, all right, all right. Okay, perfect. I should have hit that yellow ping, not the blue one, because the blue one... Oh, God, give me that. I'm gonna do this right this time. She just kind of hits points, which is... It's it's fun. Stage will end soon. I have a minute to clear this uh, th these dudes. Can we not? Can, can we not, guys? Thanks. Bring out Liv. Three ping. Three ping! <laughs> Give me Vera. Oh my god, these guys are getting nutty. They're getting angry. They're getting mad. Okay, consolidate pings. Consolidate pings. Red ping. Uh, bring up Vera, please. One of them's at 13. I have 28 seconds to do this. This is not happening. Okay, we have an ult. Maybe we can do it with the ult. I doubt it. I doubt this is gonna work. 19 seconds. 19 seconds. Uh, th red ping. Why not? Hit that. Live. Hi. Help me out, please. She just does. She, sometimes she just stops. And then. Ah, I'm almost about to give up entirely. Vera. Vera. Well, we failed that one. Vera did not want in. She was like, no. Heart emoji. Well, that was the challenge stage. Um, We did one. <laughs> we did one of them. What did I achieve? What did I even do here? I got some sort of collectible. Ah, concerto number one. Pretty. Gotta put it on the wall. The wall. Where is it? There it is. It's tiny. Let's put it here. Yes. Perfect. Confirm. Yay! It ain't much, but it's honest work. I really like Selena, though. I really do, actually. I forgot we get rewards for that. I, like, I think it's fun. It does make me want to pull over her, but she is available from the event. So I'm like, hmm. What do I do with this? A Song of Flowers challenge? I don't want to go through all the- Because the story them bits themselves are, could be, like, their own video. Like the, the interlude stories are very long and I haven't done the first one for that. So I think I'm going to leave that for a second and we'll get back to the Fantasia at the actual event here. Scene two is in progress. So I think we will finish off scene two in this video if we can. But I don't know if that will actually be something we can do because it might take a hot minute and I do not have that much time to be recording because I have to get ready to leave in like half an hour. This keeps happening to me in this game. So we have a board, an excellent choice that leads to another scene. After a brief, oh, we're boarding the ship. After a brief talk, you tell the sailor that you want to join their voyage to the distant kingdom. The sailor's description of the city capital is exactly what you remember about Naples. However, you search all your pockets and can't find any money. Um, I can give him a gem, but I don't think I have that. 
I'm gonna be honest. The sailor looks at you as if he recalls a distant memory. He allows you to board without saying anything. Nice. Just, he allows you to board. Okay, so we can talk to him. Talk. Oh, he's talking down here. At the very beginning, the dragon came without warning. I have no idea what he said prior to that. My bad. The only thing we knew was it always targeted at a crowd. I've heard that one before. It would bring the crowd from the ground and let them fall from above. It attacked villages and people, destroying everything in its sight. And now we're on the ship. Pretty, pretty uh, fast, if I do say so myself. You get on the ship. The sailor who guides you asks you where you want to go. Um, I want to have a walk around so I can just leave. Oh, pretty. The weather has been nice these past few days. Everything is calm and quiet on the sea. What a vast difference from what we just did with Selena. <laughs> All this time, you have been helping wherever you can on this boat, such as moving heavy objects, taking night shifts, or even tucking the children into bed. Oh, there's kids in the boat. Interesting. When nightfall descends, the children are herded back to the boat room. This is so pretty as well. The night, that's really pretty. These champions sheathe their long swords as they go to bed. As for the evil dragon, he also returns to his nest, but he refuses to fall asleep and asks for the adults to read him a nice bedtime story. The bedtime stories are always the same, but just like the bells on a cradle, they bring different feelings in a dream. That's pretty. The story begins when an evil dragon destroys the world. It is a catastrophe. This is really the, the story we're talking to kids. People lose their homes. Everywhere you see, the buildings lie in ruins and there are tears on people's faces. Is this really the story we're gonna tell the kids? Oh, they just literally, why are we telling this to the kids? Cause the kids like, well, I get separated from my parents. Why are they we're scaring them? Oy. The same story can lead to a thousand different questions. When you are greeted by those innocent, beautiful eyes of a curious child, it is hard to say no to their requests. Sometimes children ask questions in a more subtle way. Uh, you won't be separated. We can't tell them they're going to be separated. Well, I get separated from Krulu. Who's Krulu? It's not Cthulhu, is it? No, that's a different thing. The child raises his eyebrows and whispers, asking you to reassure him. You have not said another word. Oh. Next to the child's pillow and before he falls asleep, his mother tells you about the ending of that story. Every dry river eventually becomes flooded again. Oh, that's actually really nice. Every dried river eventually becomes flooded again. That's nice. Withered flowers blossom in the next warm spring, and the homesick people will one day return to their homes. The champion will surely overcome the great challenges, defeat the evil dragon, and save the princess. You pet the child's head. Instead of explaining things in detail, you decide to use words to deliver hope. The champion embarks on a journey to slay the evil dragon. The champion helps all sorts of people and goes through various challenges. But is the champion alone? Oh, uh, the witch, that's Ayla. Let's just, the champion has friends, especially the people they meet along the way, I guess. How many people are there? Three, just like me, Krulu, and Zeke. Is Krulu another kid then? Um, just like a team, they go through a lot together, yeah. The champion and their friends travel across mountains and rivers to finally arrive at the evil dragon's nest. Ah, uh, now this is a little bit crusty. What happened to my pretty painted scenery? This is actually just crust. Look at the moon. It's still pretty, but it's a little crusty. As nightfall descends, everything outside gets quiet. Only the sound of wind and flowing water remains. The adults working on the deck become weary and tired, their bodies stiff. Then a faint singing voice starts to echo. The singing voice comes from the captain's room which has cracks on all four sides and lingers on the deck. It is the helmsman singing a tune with his low voice. Oh, I'm not, I'm not singing that. In the middle of the ocean lies our homeland. The drifting boat knows only of her existence. They sing a song and leave the place, carrying yet the same tune when I, they reach the shore. That doesn't rhyme. Maybe it rhymes in the, tra the original, but this is a translation. So, she is loved by a group of ordinary men who will die willingly in her arm. The wandering travelers are at sea, but their dreams and souls still cling to her. Who will ever forget her? She is our home. Oh, there's more lyrics. Okay. Children who are born along the journey have never seen her face, yet they seek the coastline still. Unwilling to let go, she will carry the ocean breeze to caress our new generation. This isn't a song about fighting the sea and wrestling with the waves. Instead, the soft tune makes you homesick, and takes you, your thoughts, back to the land, even when you are among the sea. The stars are at sea. I want to say the sea of stars, but that is an entirely different game. The sailors taking night shifts straighten their backs in silence. The lone person singing the song is quickly joined by another singing voice before the song becomes a terzetto? Listen, there's some musical terms I know and some that I don't. The singing voice fills the air but it doesn't penetrate the room. The mothers have just finished singing their lullaby and telling their bedtime stories. 
Ah, oh, there's more. The evil dragon awakens from his nest and turns around to let out a deafening roar at the champion. Facing the dragon, the champion remains steadfast. To protect their homeland, the champion raises their sword that represents justice and bravery. The champion says this. I thought I was going to pick it. The flowers on this land will blossom once more and the princess will safely return to the kingdom. As for you, evil dragon, you will die by my sword. <laughs> Like happy little kittens, the children sleep soundly and enter a dream where the champion and the flowers are. Oh, well, it's wholesome. Oh, it's raining now. So Sailor, an excellent choice. We haven't done any fighting. It's all just story this time around, which is interesting because a lot of it was fighting last time. So the Sailor, the sun goes down under the horizon. It starts to get dark on the ship. The Sailor on duty tonight is a tall man with sallow skin who walks with a slight limp. You notice that he is one of the sailors whom you met when boarding. He is always quiet during the day and tends to open up during the night. I feel that one. Hey man, brother. Uh, I'll nod at him. Why not? A nice little sup, buddy. He stands on the deck far from the cabin while staring at it. He waves at you and only begins to talk when you get close. Uh, we can talk about him, the dude. Ah, so it's night, it's daytime again? Once we make it across the sea, we will arrive at our final destination. Why do I feel like this is foreshadowing that we're not going to make it? So long as the boat doesn't founder on a rock or hit a storm or meet a dragon, th this is foreshadowing if I've ever seen it, we'll make it to the port in less than a day. The tall, strong sailor stands on one side of the boat and looks into the distance. Oh, it's it's not going to. Oh, did you just speak? But it's still daylight. <laughs> Oh my god, I, I, so it is daytime. It's not just like that. Okay, let's use the pretty background. No, it actually is daytime. It is less likely to run into a dragon while at sea than on land. Theoretically, <laughs> we just, I just want to, let's just um actually him. It is a lot less likely to run into a dragon at sea. The sailor whispered. The sailor looks at you and pauses for a moment, but then decides to change to another subject. Are we the subject? I hope we're not the subject. <gasps> Pretty. This is actually really pretty, but it also looks kind of like it's decaying, so that might be bad. Okay, so we're still on the sailor. At first, I wasn't a sailor. Like I said, I was one of the many refugees who wanted to seek shelter. So this is like after the dragon hit the village or something. Oh, there's the dragon! Wait, is he on strings? These are strings holding up the dragon. No? So it is like a play. Interesting. Put a pin in the strings. In the beginning, the evil dragon appeared on a plane, but then it started to ravage and destroy the nearby villages. Many people fled out of fear. I followed the majority of people and went all the way from our village to the capital city. This is a lot of text this time. We didn't know what was hunting us. Perhaps it was the dragon, the monsters, hunger, or our weary bodies. Or perhaps we were running simply because we were despair. Because desperate would be the word that put there. All those things were like the tides washing against the shore and something, something, it got cut off and I tried to click through and it just clicked me through the whole thing. Okay, it's a castle. Oh, the capital city, but the gate was closed. Probably because they didn't want the dragon to come in, but like, that's kind of dumb considering the dragon can just go wah, like over the thing. Listen, guys, <laughs> this is still very pretty though. Together, we waited there at the gate for days. Our supplies were running out. The city guards ignored us as they would ignore the rocks on the streets. Some of us decided to go somewhere else and try our luck. More people came to join us at the gate because they were also scared by the dragon, but none of us was allowed inside. See that I can read because there's like two words down here. I can read that. The dragon attacked village after village like a sleeping cyclone. It was almost upon the capital city. I think I need to shrink my UI just a little bit because some of the text keeps getting cut off on PC. Um, but I had, didn't shrink my UI like I did on the mobile because like this is fine. Like the proportions on this are fine for my screen, but the text is having a minute. The text needs a minute. Maybe I should report that in bugs. I probably will forget. I probably will forget until I go to edit this video two weeks from now and then I'm like, oh, well, now it's too late. <laughs> Darn, that's usually what happens. Anyways, a small group of soldiers went outside the city. We didn't know where they were going. Probably to find the dragon or something. Then a larger army arrived in formation. They seemed to be escorting someone or something. I didn't pay much attention to that. The only thing I cared about was how I could sneak into the city while the ill-tempered guard was busy bowing to the army commander. It was a mess inside that city. I guess they did sneak in. Most people hid in their houses. Is it from the dragon or the alleged dragon outside? Or is it from like the army running through and they're like, oh, I don't want to deal with that. Bye. When I did run into someone on the street and have a conversation with them, they would keep looking up to check if anything was in the sky. Okay, it was the dragon. They saw the dragon, but the dragon didn't come for them, probably. People were scared because I guess if there was like a whole city in here, the dragon would be like, well, there's nowhere for me to land. So I'm going to go out where there's not any walls. 
<laughs> Smart dragon, always thinking. Then some people realized it was a lot less likely to get attacked by the dragon or the monsters while at sea than it was while on land. How does that do anything? So people started building an ark that would save them from extinction. Together, the people tried to fit in on a boat and began drifting at sea. I was one of them. So the sailor was one of those people who went to sea. Interesting. The sailor smiles, which softens his face. And there is some text down here, so we're still talking to him. I guess I'm old. Start to talk on and on about unrelated stuff. You don't want to listen to this, do you? I mean, it's kind of interesting. It's late. Let's call it a night. All right. So that's that on that. But oh, there's more. <laughs> there's more. So long as the boat doesn't founder on a rock or hit a storm, we're back on this. Or meet a dragon. We'll make it to the port in less than a day. And it's playing like the like ominous music in the background, which makes me think um, <laughs> we're about to get hit by something. The tall, strong sailor keeps watch all night. The look on his wrinkled face shows no fatigue. He stands on one side of the boat and looks into the distance. I thought we wouldn't run into a dragon at sea. It is less likely than running into a dragon on land, but it is still possible. Huh. All right, so the sailor's whispering, do we run into that dragon? Above the deck, some seagulls fly low. The morning mist hasn't faded and the children are still sleeping soundly. The captain operates a rod and commands the helmsman to steer in another direction. The sailors look lively as they become vigilant. There's something. Once we make it across the sea, we will arrive at our final destination. That was a line from before. I'm scared. Okay, so we're, we have conflict now. There's conflict. What do we want? Uh, lightning related abilities or sharp lance. I think let's go romanticism because we might be able to upgrade the ability we have here, which could be nice. Um, cause this is probably going to switch out on some, the nationalism is probably going to switch out something else. Also, I like romanticism better. I just like romanticism and recommended BP is the same. It's 3,800 and I'm at 4,375. So we're fine. We have some more characters we can throw in. I think I want to keep one Shu for now, our healer, but I'm debating if I want to throw in 21 who I'm used to using or Rosetta. Rosetta could be fun to use with Lee, but also I'm kind of running like ranged gameplay so i don't know i think i'm gonna throw in rosetta for now and then if she like dies or something or if i'm like really bad at using her i'll throw in 21 because i know how 21 works no more tips thank you i d d listen i've used these characters before also apparently those tutorial stages were locked before or something i don't know i don't entirely know but i don't think they were available to everyone but now they are so that's fine what is rosetta's leader skill it's a tank type thing let's just i'm gonna keep lee as captain why not Let's hit it. I'm just gonna you do what I normally do. Actually, you know what? Let's, oh, not what I wanted, not what I wanted, not what I wanted, not what I wanted at all. I wanted Rosetta, because I haven't used her ever. Actually, no, I have used her a little bit. What is up with these hitboxes? Oh, she's actually kind of crazy. This is fine. I'm not really even worried about her dying or something. Oh, those are lightning. Wait, what is going on here? Oh my God. I don't know what we're doing. I want you. Do we have, if it's raining, can I use ice and get like a buff here or something? Okay, Lee's up. I'm not really even hitting anything. What is, okay, so it's behind the barrels. How, I need to reach it, but I don't want to get in the lightning. How does this work? Okay, let me get around here. Hi, that was it. That was the last hit. How did it get behind the barrels? That's weird. That's weird. Also, I think I'm going to switch my um, thing. Oh, I get a swap or amplification. Sharp lances will have a slight enemy pulling effect upon hitting an enemy. Actually, crowd control could be nice. The target hit will increase all subsequent damage dealt by sharp lance. It lasts permanently and can be stacked. Let's get this crowd control. I love a crowd control. Oh, is there a little cutscene after this? The ocean only takes a second to change to something completely different. Is the first sound lightning or a dragon roar? We don't have time to think. Oh, the, the little like flash. Whoa, at first it is a tornado above the ocean that comes from the south. The tides are like a beast that has just awakened from its hibernation and is now full of energy. Also the music, I like the music here. It's very fitting. They did a really good job with the music for this. Like some of it is reuse PGR music, but other parts are like, Almost feels like entirely new music, which I love, and I hope I don't have an issue with uploading. It straightens us back and unleashes all its might. The raging storm is so powerful that all the people who once lived on the land panic. The howling wind drowns people shouting and screaming. The gray currents are like a giant serpent. I almost said gray serpent. Wow, brain rot. It's hostile, unrelenting, and deadly. It strikes the boat. Now I do see what looks like two boats. Is this the same boat, but two sides of it? I have no idea. As for us, we are caught in the middle of the vortex. No one is safe. Oh dear.
Oh, now the recommended BP is higher than my actual BP. So that's a bit rough. Stage codex, because we unlocked something new. I did get three nodes, so that gives me some stuff here. I do have rehearsal. You can increase your affection with schools through rehearsal to gain more power. Tap a school to view the corresponding details. So I'm thinking I can't level it. When you reach certain affection levels in a school, you can unlock corresponding rewards. Because in order to level up, I need these. Can be used to rehearsal the cadenzas, but I don't know where to get the cadenzas. I need to clear. How many scenes are there? See, six scenes. Okay, so we'll have like at least six videos for this. I mean, I think I should be fine because I've played with a lower BP before. So I think maybe we go for this ice related abilities. I think so. Let's go with that one. I also am going to change my starter to Rosetta just because I, I think she's fun. Yeah. All right, let's head out. Okay. Also, I feel like she's a little bit more boosted, which we probably need right now. Okay, all right, gamers. All right, Lisa. I should be fine here. It's because they're not, like, the hitboxes... Oh, the hitboxes are not on the ground, and that is throwing me off. Like, I can't, like the fact that I can't see their hitboxes is deaf. Okay, now I can see their hitboxes. Thanks, guys. Took you a minute. Okay, all right. Thank you for hitting me. This is actually fine, I think. All right, let's ult on Rosetta because she's kind of nutty. Oh, are we done? Is she done? Yeah, she's done. Uh, I ulted on her and I did, that was not necessary. So we can swap. That's all we can do. I don't think I want to do it. I don't think I want to swap. What do I currently have? Like, I don't want to swap it. So I think I'm just going to keep going. Also, recommended BP is now lower. So um, whatever. What is this one? Expressionism related to pulling in black hole. Eh, maybe we go for romanticism or let's, let's do the... Expressionism, just because I haven't done it yet. Why not? I'm going to start on Rosetta again because she was kind of the best way to go about that. I also never noticed she has the little pigtails. It's kind of cute. All right, Lisa, hello. I'm literally thinking about bringing in 21 already. Okay, so our other opponents are going to be over here. All right, uh, let me hit one shit. Hello, one shit. Oh, Lee wants in too. Okay, hello. I keep getting hit. Thank you for that. Oh my God, what are you? What are you? I've never seen you before. Okay, where are our next opponents? I have no idea. Where are they? Oh, okay, I see them now, but I have to get around these things. Oh, thank you for that. Here we are. Okay, all right. Okay, okay. This, I hate this. I hate this. Why am I struggling? Wait, why can't I hit anything? Overloaded. Great. Oh my God, I literally am struggling so hard right now. I kind of hate it. It gave me a yellow ping. That doesn't even help me, bro. My two other units are not yellow. They are red and blue. Are we done? I think we finished again. I think we finished with the alt again. Interesting. Well, we cleared it. Um, amplification. All black holes last plus one second or dark damage increases by 40%. I'm gonna up the black holes because I don't think I have dark damage. Oh, it's the cadenzas. We need the cadenzas. A conflict is imminent. All right, let's grab that instead because I actually do need those. In we go. In we go! I need to get ready soon. Actually, no, I still have time. I still have time. I'm just, I fear. I fear being late to things. I also grabbed something at some point that allows me to get, um, like when I up, when I bring Wanshu up, it also brings Lee up. And I don't know if it'll work the other way as well, but I don't know, we'll find out eventually. Okay, so there's Lee. It does not bring Wanshu up. It's just if I bring up Wanshu, uh, it also brings up Lee for whatever reason. Where are our opponents? They're not that way. Um, hmm. They're back here, I think? Yeah, I see them. I'm getting hit, like, a lot. Um, it's this spider-looking thing. Did I take out the spider-looking thing? I might have. I'm ulting. I had a three ping. Okay, you know what? Every time I ult on Rosetta, it doesn't get me anywhere because she we just finished the stage. Ulting just finishes the stage for whatever reason. So I, this one is the... There's two conflict stages. One of them is 4,800 BP recommended. The other is 43. I'm not at 4,800 yet, but it will give us a buff for expressionism or we can get the nationalism lightning related buff. I want to grab some of these things first and maybe even go to up and rehearsal because we do have some... Wait, what happened to my... I got the cadenzas! Where are my cadenzas? Do I need to finish it first? I guess I have no cadenzas, which kind of is annoying. I'm just going to do the 30, the 4,300 BP because like, why not? Do I have, are any of you lightning? No. So maybe I, oh, I already clicked it. My bad. Well, mission start. <laughs> I should have looked at that first. Oh, well, it's the easier one. Why not? All right. Hello, Lee. Got that three ping. Should be fine. And then one shiz up. Lee is back up. 
And we have to get around here. This is fun. I should try to get Rosetta, shouldn't I? She's like really fun to use. Hello, hello. Let me up, please. Thank you. I keep getting hit and it's just, it's really annoying. Okay, three ping, thank you. I should have gotten up one shit. My bad. Okay, consolidate. One shit's up. Do that. Three ping and the ult. I can actually do stuff with my ult this time, but not for long. Heck yeah. I mean, it's working. It's clearing the stage. So we can, oh, all we get is swaps. I don't want swaps. Swapping requires reading, and I don't want to do that. Sharp Lance or Nationalism, lightning related. I think let's go for Sharp Lance again. Um, yeah, Sharp Lance. We'll do Sharp Lance. Then maybe it'll give me an upgrade of some sort. I want to level up, okay? And it's the same BP recommended, so why not? Uh, Lee's up. Let's bring up Lee. I'm like, I have a ping here. Why not? Am I not hitting anything? Yeah, I'm not hitting anything. Okay, you guys over here. Hello. I'm getting the hang of this now. It's fine. Uh, I'm still using phone mobile controls, but it's fine. Okay, I need to consolidate teams. There we go. One shit. Lee is up. Thank you. Somehow this team is working. Okay, where to now? This way. Hello. Three ping on Lee. And then, oh my god. Okay, this is, see, this is why I'm not good at these controls. I think that's it. Are we done? We are not done. We are not done. Okay, so I actually got to use my ult for once there. Enemies overloaded in 60 seconds. Solid. Great. We're done. Didn't even matter. Nice. That's what I'm talking about. All right, so um, amplification. All physical damage dealt increases by 40%. We might want to grab that. Or dramatic put portrayal. Any character will gain an additional set of skill orbs upon triggering matrix. I want to up my physical damage. Let's do that. All right, interval preparation. It's the shop. <laughs> There's our little witch. So we can grab some cadenzas or actually, I think I can grab both of these. Let me get this script and then I can grab the 150 cadenzas as well. And we will end our trade. Confirm. We are going back to our pumpkin carriage. Oh, and now there's a bit. Okay. Why is the dragon above the sea? I mean, he probably just looks for people. And like, hypothetically, there's less people at sea. So that the dragon doesn't attack at sea as much as it would on land because there's more people on land. That makes sense, right? Also, the music playing, again, is very good. Why isn't there the sound of the pipe? Is it drowned out by the sound of waves? I mean, it is raining as well, so... There's no time to come up with answers. The anchor has submitted to the storm. The evil dragon soars in the cloudy sky as if it is searching for something or running away from something. Oh, so, oh my god, wait, is there, like, singing in the background too? This is good. It does make me fear DMCA, but, like, it's good. The music? Chef's kiss. I'll mute that if I have to. It twists its body and roars. The sailor's shout is muffled by lightning and the dragon's roar. In this pouring rain, you can barely make out what he's saying by looking at how his lips move. And you try your best to hear what he is saying. Lure the dragon, the room, wood. These fragmented words fail to piece together a meaningful sentence. The sea is raging, the hull is tilted to the point that people can no longer stand on their feet. In a daze, you can faintly hear someone crying. Following that sound, you look in the direction of that room. The door is closed shut making the room much safer than it is on the deck. The sailor stands on one side of the boat, next to the room. He uses one hand to hold a barrel and the other to maintain balance. Then he throws the barrels into the ocean one by one. Why the barrels? What's in the barrels? You look around and realize these sailors are scattered all over the deck. But the farther they are from the room and the closer they are to the stern, the sailors open their arms more as if a banner. Lure. They're trying to lure the dragon away from the room. Suddenly, an idea comes to your mind. You have figured out what the sailor was saying. You run to the stern, the floor is wet, and the deck is tilted. You struggle to maintain your balance and have to rely on inertia to carry you forward. I'm just like, I want to just read through this because I'm like very enthralled. <laughs> the evil dragon swoops down as if it is locked on its target. It fast approaches you. Giant waves come rolling in with the sound effect too. Ooh. Here we go, here we go. All right, both are 4,300 and both are Baroque related to levitating machines. Interesting. Um, let's just pick one. Just pick one. It doesn't really matter because it's the same thing, which is probably means it's like a mandatory stage, which I don't know why they make you pick one or the other because it's just like you have to do it regardless. So it might as well be the same stage, you know? Did we level up at all or did I need to like actually go in and pick that? Because I know I grabbed the script, but I don't think we leveled up, which is weird. Like it didn't. The thing didn't pop up, I feel like. Maybe I'm just going insane and did not notice it. Okay, um, this way now? Where are our opponents? Current wave is three out of three. Oh, I accidentally switched onto one shit and he has an ult, so why not ult on him? There he goes! All right, we'll let him finish off the stage. I have not used him for this. He's so sleepy. <laughs> 
I relate. I think it did up our BP because my BP is, we're total level is 60 and the average BP I have now is 5848. So we can swap or get a amplification base attack increases by 45%. I'm going to grab that. Now we have a rehearsal stage with recommended BP of 5200. Confirm. And we'll do that. I'm just going to keep going until it says I finished uh, scene two. So that'll be the video. This scene, scene two is definitely more, it's more, not you. It's Shark Spear, my mortal enemy. Shark Spear, no, <laughs> I'm so mad. Uh, no, no, absolutely not. Absolutely not, you menace to society. Oh, wait, we're done? Wait, what? How did that happen? What? <laughs> I'm so confused. Oh, that's the end of scene three, or at the end of scene two, we're on to scene three. Do we want to grab him now? Um, I don't, Bianca, give me Bianca, give me Bianca. Uh, Chrome, Arclight Chrome could be helpful as well. Do I wanna do a refresh? I say let's do a refresh. We have Garnet, I, mm, this Vera is nice and I always, I love her VA. So I'm like, do we want her? Or do we wanna do, I have one more refresh. This could be, uh, this could be stinky though. Cause also we have Luminance Live, which is a great healer. And I almost kind of want to switch out. I no, I want if we're using trial characters, I'm only going to use characters I don't have. I'm going to do one more refresh. Vera, oh, I think I actually grabbed the wrong Bianca because I grabbed zero. I think Veritas is the one, the better one. Yeah, I'll grab her too. Why not? Veritas is better, I think. I do have one more refresh, but I don't have any more recruitment. So we can also select difficulty. I'm on basic difficulty, which I'm just going to keep running with. And that's that for today. We'll start scene three in the next one. We have unlocked behind the curtain, which is again, something I'll get to next time. I should be able to do rehearsal because I have, I should have some of these, the cadenzas. I've been grabbing them. You can only do this after result calculation. Oh, I have to finish the whole thing first. Do I really have to do that? I guess, huh? Well, luckily we can grab another shard for Miss Selena. Perfect. I'm going to save my polls and I think I'm gonna do a bunch of polls for Selena at the very end, just so I don't run into the issue of using my, uh, that took a minute to load, using what are these black cards? I don't wanna use them. I have until, uh, when does this banner end? 3.30, I have until the end of this month. And I think this event actually goes past that so I can kind of guess it. Kind of like how I did in Honkai Impact with the Salvation Log event and getting i -Chan. I kind of had to guess it there because you could get her for free in that event, but the banner for her ended before the event. So this ends, actually it says on the main screen, it ends on 4-7. So it's the same sort of deal where Selena's banner will end slightly before the end of the Fantasia event. So I kind of have to game it and figure it out from there, but it worked for Salvation Log. I have I shot and Honkai Impact, so it's fine. We'll figure it out. This event just takes quite a minute. So like to do one cycle, we only are going to do one cycle on camera, I think, even though this is a very fun event and I like could play a whole game of this. Like it does take a minute to go through all the scenes and all that if you're like reading through it, uh, which actually is a lot of like roguelike dungeon crawler-esque games are like that. And I think that I love that gameplay, but it can take so long to go through one cycle. Like I've been sitting here for 55 minutes for this video. Granted, we did do Selena in this as well, but like still a lot. It's a lot, but I really like the gameplay. Still, I really like the gameplay. And this is just on basic. I think I probably will try it on a higher level. So that is going to be it for this video. Let's end on the event because it's pretty. That is going to be it for this video. Thank you guys for watching. If you like this video, make sure to give me a like down below as well as subscribe for more and click the little notification bell to be notified when I upload new ones. As always, I hope everyone had or is having a super lovely day wherever you are in the world. And I will see you all in my next video. Bye guys. Bye.